Hey guys, welcome to your upper body superset workout. This workout is three sets of exercises, right? We have a superset, which is two exercises. We have a triset, which is three exercises. And then we have a giant set, which is four exercises. Each move we're going to do for 40 seconds, and then we'll rest for 10 and move to the next exercise. You do have a good 45 uh, seconds in between sets. So that's the good news. All right, you need your dumbbells today. I've got everything from 30 down to eight, but I plan on using mostly my 10s and my 15s and 20s, staying in that medium weight range. You're also gonna want an exercise mat because uh, we are gonna be down on the ground for some of the moves. As a reminder, my friends, all new content, new programs, new workouts, you will find on my app, which is just launched, it's called In Motion. I'm gonna put a link down below so you can check it out and work out with me there. And this style of training that we're gonna be doing today is part of my new program, Superset Express, and it launches in just about a week or so. So you'll find that new program within the In Motion app. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. All right, my friends, let's get warmed up. All right, let's start with the shoulders. Big shrug up, slide them back and down like you're putting your shoulder blades into your back pockets. Doing this without arching that back, without flaring that rib cage, right? So keep that pelvis under you. Core is turned on, it's not over engaged. It's just active. Good. Back and down there they will stay. Go ahead and tilt the head side to side, stretching out the sides of the neck. <sighs> Beautiful. And now I'm gonna extend my arms out to the side. I'm going to flip one palm up as I roll the other. And then I'm gonna gaze over that externally rotated arm and then I switch <sighs> and switch. So I'm really playing with the internal and external rotation of my shoulders. <sighs> Getting them warm and ready to work. <sighs> Couple more. Good. Go ahead and now roll the sh shoulders forward. I can talk. <sighs> and on this next one, I'm gonna roll down to touch the toes and then roll it back up. Same thing again, roll down, touch the toes, and back up. Let's do one more like that. And on this next one, I'm gonna roll down, touch the toes, and then I'm gonna keep going and walk it out to plank, and then walk it back up. Roll the shoulders back and down, let's do it again. Walk it all the way out and bring it back up. This time, take it out. We're gonna add that lizard lunge. So bringing one foot to the outside of the hands and then I'm going to open up towards that leg that's up in front with an inhale and I'm gonna exhale it back in. Again, inhale, reach, exhale back in. Inhale, reach, exhale, last one. Good, hands down, feet back, walk it up and roll it up. Same thing, other side. Big shrug up, round, roll, walk it out. Opposite foot now. Inhale, reach and twist. Exhale down. Inhale. Good, two more. Big inhale, reach. Exhale, last one. Hands down, feet back, walk it up, roll it up, take those shoulders back and down. We're going to push as we squat down and then squeeze shoulder blades together as we stand tall. Again, push, squeeze, push, squeeze. Nice, back stays flat. Let's do three more, push, squeeze, push, squeeze. Last one here, push, squeeze. Now I'm gonna push overhead and then imaginary 
Adi Builder Flex. So I'm imaginary pushing the bar up and then pulling that imaginary bar down with a big Body Builder Flex. Three more, push, push. Last one right here, push down. Nice, we're going to work against the air here. So palms face forward, big push of the air up, rotate the palms, push the air down like you're in water and push it down. So we're working against the air, so you're flexing the bicep and then flexing the tricep. Good, last three, two, and one. Down, stepping the feet wide here. We're gonna uh, get a nice stretch on the lats. So first, let's get the shoulders, interlace the fingers behind the back, puff that chest out, hinge forward. You can let the arms fall, brief stretch, front of the shoulders. And then release the hands down to center. Walk them over to one foot if you can get to the foot. If not, you can try to bring it to the outside of the uh, lower leg. And then I'm gonna push that armpit to the opposite foot here. Just gonna kind of pulse it here for three two, want to feel that lat getting woken up. Good. And now switch sides, grabbing the opposite foot, push that lat, that armpit area to the opposite foot for three, two, one. Good. Hands back to center, heel toe it together. And then we'll uh, roll it up nice and slow. Shoulders back and down, chest nice and proud. We are ready to work out. We are starting super basic with just a chest press and then we come up for a wider row. So it's literally the same movement, just one is pushing and then the other is pulling. Again, I'm gonna use my uh, 20 pounds. Again, it's first the chest press and then it's the push up. I wanna face this way. <sighs> So we are doing these opposing muscle groups here for this super set. Hello, Fran. Coming all the way down. Uh, if you've got a bench, you can always use a bench. I'm going to press up into a bridge just for funsies. And in two, we press. <laughs> Big exhale to press, inhale down. I like being in this bridge because it almost gives me a little extra range, but that's totally personal preference. You guys choose. <sighs> Inhaling down, <sighs> exhaling up. <sighs> You've got 17 seconds on the clock. <sighs> <sighs> Almost done. You should feel it by now. Last five. <sighs> Good. We're coming up, going right into that wide grip row in one second. There it is. So same angle at the elbow, right? It's almost like a 45 degree at the armpit. Big exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together, inhale it down. Back is nice and flat. If you're picking up through the low back, lighten your weight, check your form. Last five, three. Good. Now we've got our extra rest. We're breathing here and then we'll go back down for the chest press. Ignore that, that's our extra rest. Taking your time to get back down. We go into the chest press in under 20 seconds here. So if you felt like your weights were too light for the last one, bump it up. Or if they were too heavy, lower it down. We go in five seconds. I'm going back into a bridge 
and press. Here we go. So just like I said, in that row, there's about a 45 degree angle at the armpit, right? So you're not looking like a big letter T from above, but you look like an arrow. So those elbows aren't shooting straight out to the sides. You got 15 seconds. I'm already shaking. This is good stuff. Last eight. Big exhale to press, two. Last one. Good. Coming up quickly for the row variation. Here we go. Big exhale. Squeeze, engage the lats. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You've got 20 seconds on the clock right here. Ooh, feeling it. 15. Next is our tri set. We got buys and tries and shoulders. Three. Rest. Breathe. Shake it out. We move into our tri set. We start with a skull crusher. So I'm gonna come all the way down onto the ground. I'm gonna use my 10 pounds for this exercise, but I'm gonna pull my 15 out for the second exercise, which is a concentration curl, which we're gonna do from half kneeling. So I'm just gonna have that out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive with it, but I'm gonna try. And then I'm gonna use my 10s for the third exercise, which is a rear delt fly. All right, starting with the triceps. All the way down, option to come into a bridge or not. Uh, arms straight up overhead, let them fall back slightly and we're going to drop, bending at the elbow, dumbbells come right next to your ear. <sighs> Exhale to extend, option to come up into a little bridge. <sighs> Inhale back, <sighs> exhale it up. <sighs> oh, the 10 pounds is more than I bargained for. Again, inhaling, exhaling. So the dumbbell ends up right next to your ear. The movement's coming at the elbow, right? You got five seconds left. The back of your arm should be on fire. If it's not, you'll pick a different weight. All right, everyone's gonna go left arm, left knee out. Dig the elbow into it. We curl right here. Exhale, inhale, lower it down. So that quad is my pivot point. See if I can survive with 15 pounds. Inhale down, exhale up. 20 seconds left. We're working the biceps. This is my beefy gym bro exercise. 10 seconds, big exhale, curl, inhale down, five, two, I survived. All right, we're coming all the way up. We're gonna hinge it over. Dumbbells are going to, or palms are gonna face the legs here. And then we squeeze together. So we're working upper back, back of the shoulder. Big exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You've got 20 seconds left. 15. Don't fling the dumbbells up there. Big exhale to squeeze. Use that upper back, those shoulders, not momentum. Last one here. Nice, we get extra rest and we'll take it back down and go from the top. Ignoring this right here. Coming all the way down. We start with the skull crusher. Then we have the concentration curl on the opposite arm. For me, that will be my right. 
I started on my weaker side. All right, we ready? We're all the way down. We got the dumbbells ready. We go in five, bring the dumbbells up, let them fall back slightly. So we got that constant tension in the triceps. Bend and extend. <sighs> Inhale as you drop the dumbbells. <sighs> Big exhale, come up. You don't have to be in a bridge. I'm just enjoying the little extra core and glute work that comes with it. <sighs> <sighs> you got 15 seconds. Hello, back of the arms. My goodness. <sighs> Franny's parked herself in front of my timer so I can't see it. There it is, five. <sighs> nice. I'm going right knee out, right elbow into it, into that quad curl. Big exhale, curl it up, inhale it down. <sighs> You've got 27 seconds. How is it harder on my stronger side? The world may never know. After this, we've got that rear delt fly. Oh my, biceps. Seven, three, all right, we're coming all the way up. Palms will face the legs. Dumbbells in hand, we hinge, squeeze. Working the back of the shoulders, upper back. Doing your best not to let those shoulders shrug up into your ears. Back stays nice and flat. That booty is pushed out behind you. Big exhale. I'm talking too much, it's making me out of sync with my breath. Last 10. And then this is it for our tricep. Three, two. Oof. All right, guys, we are moving into our giant set. Let's do it. All right, we are starting with a pullover. So it's similar to that skull crusher, but now the movement is coming from the shoulder and we're pulling with those lats. I'm gonna use my tens. I'm gonna use my tens for probably everything until the end. So, uh, yeah, for our fourth exercise, I'll up it to 15. Maybe 20, seeing how crazy we're feeling. So we got the pullover first, then we're just gonna sit up tall and do an overhead press there. And then we will stand up for a curl variation, putting the fat ends of my dumbbells together. I'm gonna go into a baby bridge and I'm gonna let them fall back. And then big exhale, bring it back up. You can inhale, fall back, use those lats, bring it back up. You can always use a single dumbbell for this. Just make sure you have enough weight there to challenge you for you to use those lats. We got this, you got 15 seconds. Inhale back, exhale up. That bridge is not required. I just like it. Seven. Almost done. Nice. All I'm gonna do is just sit up, legs out long. They can be bent if you need to. Bring the dumbbells up to the shoulders and we'll press on an exhale. Inhale back down. Exhale, press. Inhale back down. So now the way those elbows track is whatever feels comfortable on the shoulder. So for me, it is in front, slightly out to the side. 15 seconds. Nice. Last 10. Seven. Back stays flat, guys. Three. And we come all the way up to stand, keeping my same dumbbells. I'm gonna hammer curl up, 
into a lateral curl, then bring it back the way I came. So hammer curl up, open, curl laterally, bring it back in, same thing. Open it, and then we close it. Elbows stay at the sides, rib cage stays down, pelvis stays under you, soft bend in the knee, so don't lock out. Woo, feeling it. Last five seconds, and then I'm gonna go up and wait for my last exercise. Nice. I'm gonna grab my 15s. I'm gonna grab my tenny, my tennies, my 20s. Row the dumbbells up, hold them there. Drop one, drop the other. Inhale it down, exhale it up. So now, unlike the first round, we are hold, bringing that dumbbell to the hip, so it's a bit of a closer row. You've got 15 seconds left. Again, dumbbell slides right up to your hip. Seven. Three, we get to rest after this. And rest, all right. We're breathing here. We go back to the top in 28 seconds. Ah, okay. We come all the way down from the top. Pull over. Really working that back. Hi, you're being cute. Eight seconds. Coming all the way down, dumbbells press together, making adjustments to your weights if you need to. Now Franny's laying down in front of the timer. Here we go. I am not gonna be able to see the time. So we're just gonna hope for the best here. Big inhale back, exhale up. If you are in a baby bridge like me, make sure that you're not big time arching through that back. So think about pulling that pubic bone to your nose, squeezing the booty to keep any arch out of that back. And now when you're doing this pullover, only bring the dumbbells just to your eye line before you drop it back. If you bring it any further than that, you're taking the tension out of the lats. Whew, rest, and you're making it easier. All right, we're sitting up tall, legs out long. You can bend those knees if you need to. Big exhale, press. Inhale down. Inhale down, we got it. We're challenging the core here as well by doing this from a seated position. So make sure you keep drawing that belly button in with every exhale. You've got 10 seconds. It should be getting hard by now. Three. All the way up. We've got that rainbow curl. Hammer curling up. Ooh, my arms are shaking, guys. Hammer up, open for a lateral curl, and bring it back. Oh, just trying to catch your breath here. All of a sudden, it got hot in here. 20 seconds. Stay with me, all we have left is that bent over row variation. Last eight, three, two, ha. All right, I'm getting my 20s for that row. Hold and drop in two. Here we go, row them up, there they stay. One is down, one is up. Other side, take your time. Really try to reach that arm forward before you give it a big exhale. 
to pull it back up. <sighs> Reach and then slide that shoulder blade into your back pocket. Engage the lat. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> 10 seconds, guys. <sighs> Five. Right to the hip. <sighs> Two. Ah, <sighs> rest, shake it out. All we gotta do is stretch it out. Clear some space for yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back, you did it. Now the workouts in the program are a little longer than that, but not by much. Every workout is less than 45 minutes, so yay. All right, find a wall. All you're gonna do is bring your hand to it and then turn away from it. So you're feeling that stretch through the chest. Give me a few deep breaths here. You can play with bending and straightening the arm. You can bring yourself to a doorway. Anything will work here as long as you can turn away. Beautiful, let's go ahead and just switch sides. Let's bring the opposite hand, turn away. Franny, what you doing? Just staring off into space down there? Sometimes she just spaces out. She'll just stand there, stare off into space. Hi. Again, playing with bending, straightening the arm. Cool. And now I'm going to interlace those hands behind my back, give myself a big puff in the chest. And now I'm gonna bring the, the hands off to one side. So they're sitting on one hip. Now I'm gonna tilt the head in the direction that the hands are on. And I'm gonna play with my gaze here. So I'm gonna turn my head up. I'm gonna deepen that stretch here. You feel this through the side of the neck. Oh, look away, look up. Find where you need to spend that time. Now I want you to be mindful of that arch in your back right now. So if you weren't paying attention, you might have a big arch, so bring that pelvis back under you. Good, go ahead and switch sides. Tilt that head, double check that that back isn't arching. Oh, there is the stretch I needed. Deep breath here. Good. And then go ahead and release. We're gonna walk ourselves out to plank. So just take your time getting there. Roll it out. Get down there. And then all you're gonna do when you get here is drop your knees down. I'm gonna take my right hand and thread it through under the left. And I'm just gonna hang here for a second. Try to focus on getting a stretch through the back of that shoulder that upper back of that arm that's threaded underneath. And now we're gonna just bring that top hand, if you want, up so we can now deepen the twist. <sighs> Beautiful. And then we'll bring it back up to all fours. And then thread the opposite hand through. So my left hand I'm gonna hang here for a second. Stretching through that arm that's underneath. And to deepen it, I'm going to extend that top arm up. Couple deep breaths here. And then bringing both of them back to center. And I'm going to widen my knees get myself into a uh, child's pose here. Bringing forehead to the mat. And I'm gonna deepen this by putting the palms of the hands together, bending at the elbows, really trying to pull those fingertips to my upper back, right? And we'll take a few deep breaths here. Might feel those triceps, those lats, everything. Good, go ahead and release. Bring yourself up, take a seat. 
I am proud of you guys. That is it. This is where I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to remind you that this is how my new program, Superset Express, um, is set up. Although the first phase is all supersets, so it's the two exercises. The second phase, so the second two weeks, is then tri-sets. And the third and final phase, the third two weeks, week five and six, is all giant sets. It's a really fun way to progress your training without having to go super heavy in weight. I hope you guys check it out. Again, link to my app in motion is down below. I love you guys. Thank you for working out with me and I will see you next time.